going to show you how hackers can steal your social media account in just in less than five minutes so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a phishing website that looks exactly like any social media account be it tiktok be it facebook instagram just to name a few please remember this video is for educational purpose only and if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video so without wasting time or before i start i'm running this software on my kali linux operating system it's actually installed on my virtual machine on my macbook which i'll do a video on how to install a virtual machine be it your macbook or your windows also this software i'm going to use is an open source software you can also run the software on your android phone i'll also do a video on that so today we're going to do it on our kali linux without wasting much time let's go straight to it so i'll go to google type google so here i'll type z fisher and hit enter the first link you see from github the first link is it my mouse is holding i'm holding my mouse on it so i'll click to this link it will take me to this software this phishing software this hacking tool this is the name z fisher can go through it disclaimer in the actual activity related to Fisher. You can go through the disclaimer, the features of the software. You can see there how to install this software and the various operating systems in which you can run the software. You can even run it on your cloud, on your cloud server. Okay, so I'm going to install this software on my Kali Linux or just come here this is the first one first just clone this repository so what I'll do is I'll click here to copy this link this link there's a link make sure you copy this link now come over to my system I'll open my terminal Make it bigger so you able to see. Okay, it should be better now. So I'm going to install this software on my desktop. I want to install it on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type CD desktop and hit enter. So now directory now has changed the directory now to my desktop. As you can see this is desktop i'm now on my desktop so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to paste the link i copied on the side paste and i hit enter so now you can see it's cloning the software this is it it's downloading our software you can see this is a folder this is a folder z fisher Okay, so the downloading is done. So I'll type CD Z Fisher. Oh, sorry, Z Fisher. And I hit enter. Now I'm in the folder. So what I'm going to do now is I need to run the command now to start the the software. So I'm going to type bash spacebar Z Fisher dot sh and hit enter wait for it now to install it's installing as you can see don't do anything just wait for it to install wait for the installation to complete it's installing local expose installing cloudflare it's going to host it okay so now the installation is complete so as you can see z fisher version 
is created by Dominic Layard. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, these are all the social media sites you can create the phishing. You can clone your, your phishing websites to to hack your victims' credentials. You can hack Facebook. You can hack Instagram. You can hack Google, Microsoft, Netflix, PayPal, Steam, Twitter, PlayStation, TikTok, Mediafire, Discord, Twitch, Pinterest, Snapchat, LinkedIn, eBay, Kova, and all the like. Today we are going to we'll use uh, let's use TikTok. Let's have TikTok today. So you see TikTok here is 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 10 here and click enter. And it will ask you where do you want to host your URL. If you select local host, it means you have an external hosting service, <coughs> be it your maybe you have a, a domain. You want to host it on your Android, you want to host it on your laptop. Any hosting service you want to host it, then you input that one, which will follow the procedure. But today I want to make it very simple. So I want to host it on Cloudflare, which is auto detect. So I'm going to select two and click OK. Do you want a custom port? No, I don't want a custom port. Initializing is connecting to Cloudflare. Okay, do you want to to max URL? So at this point, it's asking you if you want to do a custom URL to mask it to make your victim things is a legit URL. You can do a social engineering at this point, like you can say get free followers, get free uh, TikTok likes dot com, get uh, verify TikTok dot com. So you can input any URL, you can type in any URL you wish to type in there, which will make it look convincing to your to your victim. That one you can do that one for your own time, but since you want to save time, so I will just select no. It will auto generate a link for us. So as you can see, it has generated a link for us, and you can see TikTok free likes this. So we'll go with this link. Let's say I've copied this link now and I have to send this link now to my victim. Okay, let's assume this is my victim. This browser is my victim. And when they log in, when they uh, click on this link, hit enter. Look at what it will say. As you can see, you see login to get. 1000 TikTok likes for free TikTok and you'll be convinced thinking this is from TikTok or it's a legit site and if you come on the hacker's computer which is your hacker your computer this one you can see you have already captured the victim's uh, IP address which with this address this address alone you can do so many things you can do a uh, spoofing and you can do many other things with it, which I will do some other more videos explaining that. Okay, so now I want to get this uh, victim login, the logins which their credentials which they are going to log in on this page. So you type in test123 and my password, let's say my password is fish. Oh, sorry. My password is fish boy one two three and when I click on login okay so you, as you can see now this is this is it now asking our victim to to reset their password sending a OTP and or whatnot. So come on the hackers machine, you'll see login info found. So this is the password we type on the phishing our victim type on the phishing site. As you can see, this is this is the, the username test123 and this is the password of our victim. Fishboy123. So let's say you are the hacker now and 
you are monitoring this so once your your victim type these credentials and you already get them what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to log in on the browser before them from there now you can kick them out change their password and all the like so that's it in our next tutorial i'm going to show you how to hack a facebook page even if the facebook is being protected by a phone number i'm going to show you how to hack it and bypass the otp or by collecting the otp from from the from your victim they will input the otp thinking is from facebook not knowing you are still the one getting the otp and logging into the facebook page so please like my video subscribe and share don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos thank you all for watching if you